Hi teachers, in this quick video, we are going to take a look at assigning an assessment to students through into reading. We're then going to look at it, what it looks like from the student perspective and where the student would click in order to take that assessment. To get started, we'll want to first locate that assessment in the program. I happen to like to go through all resources, scroll down to the bottom, select show me everything, and then I'm going to just search for weekly assessment. And on the left hand side, use the filters so that I get only the interactive weekly assessments and I can even filter further if I happen to know what week and the title, I can search directly for that. Once I have that assessment, I may open it to see what it looks like and if I'm ready, I'm going to assign it to students. From here, it's going to walk me through what to do. It already gives it a name. You have the option to add additional directions to it. You're going to choose a start date and an end date. Keep in mind, after the end date, um, students won't be able to open or submit the assignment after the due date end time if you check this box. You can also choose exact time that you want to release this. I'm going to um, assignees view by classes. You do have the ability to build separate groups within the system. And if you wanted to assign by group and had those built, that would be an option as well. Once I have all this information complete, notice I only have one class in here. Those of you who have more classes pulled from PowerSchool, you will see additional classes here where you can select those classes as well. I'm going to select assign. And now that's been assigned. Now, how do I tell that it's been assigned to students? Well, in the teacher portal, I select my classes. I can view this class. And right here, I can see that I have this assignment started and I can see that no one has started this assignment. When a student logs into their account, they're first going to be directed to their dashboard. Now, if you made this assignment due today or it is overdue, it's going to show up here on their dashboard. If it is due in the future, they'll select assignments, scroll down underneath, and we can see that they have that assignment and the ability to click start right here. Students will then go through the testing platform in order to answer each of their questions by clicking start, choosing their options. They have the ability to listen to things read aloud and they can also mask responses here. They have some writing questions and then at the end, they'll be able to submit their work so that you can review things further and take a look at the data.